In this video, I'm going to show you a pass protection concept that you can utilize out of gun spread or gun spread type formations where you can't block a tight end um, to be able to pick up meta pressures or meta blitzing concepts in this game. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's completely free to do that, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips that we release every single day here on the channel. Um, and then also I wanted to let you know that we're going to be talking today about the spread sets and kind of some air raid concepts or how you can kind of recreate some of that. And I actually have a full spread offensive guide over at my Patreon if you want to get access to it. Joining the Patreon is just $10 a month. And for just $10 a month, you're going to get access to everything. You get access to all of my all 15 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. You're also going to get exclusive updates each week to um, you know different theories, different game concepts, different meta uh, shifts, and things like that. How we're um, how competitive players are playing. We also are going to be starting uh, later today our pro player film rooms, which I'm really really excited about. We actually look at some of the uh, top 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 players in this in this uh, game and really actually break down exactly what they're doing and why they're doing what they're doing so anyways if you want to get better at the game i would look no further than our patreon membership um, it's only ten dollars a month and you get so much content for it okay guys so today we're taking a look at um, pass protection out of spread sets um, and i want to show you a uh, concept that you can utilize you can do this out of doubles flex you can do it out of spread wide slot but basically it's this play um, either PA tight end wheel or PA comebacks are the plays uh, that we're gonna take a look at here against the meta which is three three five wide and here's why this is a important concept so if I just block by running back here what's gonna happen is your opponent is just gonna stand right here and you're going to notice that the pressure is going to loop around and you're not going to pick it up okay so the problem <laughs> obviously major major issue right how can we pick up pressure then uh with a blocked running back well what we can do is and i've talked about this a little bit before from trips tied in but a play action concept is going to typically pick this up so what you're going to see here is the play action concept is going to pick up the pressure and then now we have plenty of time to be able to deliver the pass wherever which way we want to okay the cool part is we also get kind of like a, a skinny post here uh, to the triangle receiver that we can kind of build around uh, for example uh, if we wanted to you know we could do you know some different motions maybe do something like this if you will uh, and try to kind of craft a, a cover three beater uh, out of this concept and I got shedded but as you can see uh, the post is wide open now what I wanted to hit on though even more importantly than that is the fact that once you're able to pick up pressure your whole offense opens up right it doesn't even matter the routes so for example one of my favorite route combinations to do out of this would be to take my tight end and put him on a slant take the circle receiver here we're actually gonna put him on a smoke um, or a, I'm sorry, a, uh, a post or a, uh, a streak. We're going to put Chris Godwin on a post, and then we're going to put Scotty Miller on a smoke screen or a zig route. And you're going to see that this little slant post concept right here is really, 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 really good. You can easily hit your tight end post, or you can hit some of your other concepts within this. The cool part, too, is like you have this little skinny post kind of built into the play, too, and this skinny post gets a little deeper, and as you can see, it just kind of crosses the face of the deep third, and it can be one of the best cover three beater beaters in this game. So there's so much you could do off of this. Let me give you a couple of quick little examples here. So you could do something like a post corner. You know, do your little, I like to cancel the play action. I just think it helps it. Uh, but then you have you know all these all these routes that you can go to. Um, the cool part about spread and what most people don't understand is everything is open in spread if you have time. So for example, like I'm gonna streak uh, I'm gonna streak Gronkowski. It could be something like this, um, and then I'm going to take uh, for example here just I mean something simple. We're gonna do a zig route to Mike Evans or a comeback route, if you will. We're gonna do a drag and then we're gonna do a dig. And you'll see that when you have time, there's so much space on the field uh, to be able to throw things open. You know, one of my favorite concepts in Madden uh, this year, it's really a great man beater. Um, it's also, it's a good zone beater too, but it's a great man beater. And uh, what you're gonna notice here is we're just gonna call a shallow concept. So basically what we're gonna do 
is we're going to uh, take Gronkowski and put him on a drag. And then we're going to run off both of these guys just like this. And then we have a post to Chris Godwin. You know, you might want to go ahead and maybe do a curl in a, in a post over the top or, you know, but I like the runoff routes, just something simple here because it's really a two-man read, right? You're looking there or you're looking to your um, to your other route, okay? A uh, cool part is we can do this out of all kinds of stuff. So, for example, like PA tight end wheel. We know wheel routes this year are really, really, really good. Uh, so we could do something like PA tight end wheel and we could run an out route to Miller and we got this wheel here to Godwin and notice here you pick up the pressure, they, they follow the wheel so we go to Scotty Miller and you've got a great little play uh, built into a spread set and this is all over the spread playbook or spread offenses in general whether it be Air Raid, Arizona, New England spread, there's so many spreads in this game that have you know routes like this like for example right here notice that I can lowball that click on come back under cut it I mean that, that you know wheel routes this year are so good uh, for so many different reasons that you can utilize this play PA tight and wheel you're gonna pick up pretty much every pressure in the game and then now you're gonna put them in, in you know tough positions to be able to stop you so this concept is is a again it's a universal and, and the best part of this also one little pro tip is from this type of formation if you're getting blitzed to death you can actually go ahead and motion this guy to the right and now what you're going to be able to do is set up your your kind of double set if you will and you can do something like this and you could just block the tight end obviously here we just want to hit the back out of the backfield but you can easily just block the tight end right there and now you have the ability to pick up every blitz in the game as well so you you have pass protection built within this you could easily turn this into almost a gun doubles type of set where you know you know they're gonna blitz you so you're gonna go with a little bit of heavy pass protection and now you catch them in a situation where they don't have anything over the top for your your deep post route so there's just so much you could do off of this this post route out of PA comebacks is really good um, it's a great little cover three cover four beater pretty much beats every coverage in the game and you see how good this is well the cool part is then we can build off of it so another example would be something like this we can easily go with a little hitch a little zig concept a little little post uh to to uh Gronkowski, and then maybe a little curl and you know just something simple like this and it just it just forces the defense to have to cover the whole field and that's what spread does so well um, so anyways, this is a way that you can still get the same kind of strengths of spread while still being able to pick up some of the, the metas. Uh, let me show you just real quickly uh, nickel 245 odd, for example. So 245 odd uh, would basically be a blitz that looks kind of like this, where they're going to blitz this guy, and then we're just going to move this guy out kind of thing with a contain. Um, I mean, this is pretty much what they're going to do, and then they're going to stand kind of right here. And the point is, if you watch how this play works, watch, you see how the running back kind of comes back there. He actually messed up. But if you're in any, any other play action, you should be fine. So you're going to be able to pick up most generally, uh, you're going to be able to pick up most pressure. And that's what makes this so good. So again, you know, we go to PA tight end wheel, um, you know, for example, kind of do something like that. Notice how he's just like a laser on that guy. And then now it allows us a lot of opportunity to be able to just kind of work some of our route combinations and get them out of blitzing. And then once they stop blitzing, well, now we can just easily, I mean, you know, you can at that point, I mean, this is one of my favorite plays right here. I think this is one of the most underrated plays in spread. Something as simple as like something like this, Right here, you've got great pass protection, and then you're going to force them to either guard the seam or guard the flat. Because if they, they can't really guard both out of a cover three shell, so then they're going to have to go to something like a, you know, I don't know, something like a cover two or whatever. And then now you've got this, this skinny post that you're going to be able to hit over the top. So there's just so much you can do with this. I just wanted to kind of talk a little bit about the idea of play action blocking and why it is so good because you could do something like this pick up the blitz and now you've got these wide open seam routes um that are just i mean they're, they're so open and then the beauty of this is too like we could say well okay now um you know they're going to send some more pressure but now let's do something you know like that looks kind of like this you know and and do maybe a curl route or a comeback route on that backside. and then i already talked about the idea of doing like a little little slant or a little dig i think a slant from the outside receiver this year is one of the most underrated routes in the game uh, for beating man-to-man. -man. It's very, very effective, as you can see. 
So, anyways, add this to your arsenal, and the cool part is the sky's the limit with it. You can do whatever you want with it. There's so much you can. There's so much you can do with spread. Um, you just have to kind of start dialing up different routes and stuff. But very, very fun offense to run. If you want to learn how I run it, um, I've got a full spread offensive guide in our Patreon. So if you want to join the Patreon, you not only get access to that, you get access to everything. You get all my eBooks, everything for one price of just $10. So if you want to get it, there's a link in the description where you can go sign up for it. So if you're still watching and you're interested, head on down to the description below and uh, click the link that I put down there and go check out some of the spread stuff.